Welcome to Wes Round 2, the second event in the UCI e-mountain bike cross-country World Cup calendar. Wes Bologna Apennino took place at Castiglione dei Pipoli in Italy in the Apennine mountain chain between Emilia Romagna and Tuscany and featured two World Cup races for the riders' delight and double the chances to earn eligible points to qualify for the UCI e-mountain bike World Championships. Let's hear now from Milton Ramos Gámez at his debut in the series. Experiencia nueva en las e-bikes. La verdad es que es un mundo completamente nuevo en donde this is a brand new experience for me on an e-bike. It's a new world where electronics, tires, minute measurements and motor power count. I'm really here to learn and I'm glad we'll have two rounds in Spain, the 24th and 25th September and the 16th and 17th of October. I'm going to see you there. Let's start now with this new adventure here in Bologna. Ciao. The riders on the grid following the morning's qualification, an exciting race ahead starting from the centre of the medieval town, a steep start climb and five regular laps in the mountain. The whole shot first up for the first rider through the turn in first position, Chechi Camion from Specialised and Natalie Schneider from Trek Bosch taking that whole shot. Qualification on race day is always tough for the riders but a real chance now to test out the possibilities of their batteries and their legs. In the women's field, following her first 2021 hole shot, Natalie Schneider took the lead at her debut this season, whilst reigning world champ Melanie Poujan from BH France broke her chain. Olympic medalist and 2019 Wes E cross-country champion Marco Fantano focused joined his home round in Italy. Australian national champion Josh Carlson of Giant Factory Team made his debut in the series. He loved the format and he'll be racing again at Sherrard in France. Silver medalist at the World Championships and current Wes men's leader Jerome Gio of Moustache qualified in first place and kept that position for the rest of the day, leading over Joris Reef of Bergstrom, who was pushing hard and tried everything to beat the Frenchman. Chechi Camion searched for a coveted score after Wes round one in Monaco, where he fought for the third place photo finish, eventually finishing fourth. Wow, Jerome Gio set a total race time of 53 minutes and 54. An incredible race pace, taking the win over Joris Reef of Switzerland and Chechi Camion, who clinched the third step of the podium, crossing the line on a wheelie. 2019 e-mountain bike world champion Natalie Schneider crossed the finish line in 53.30, ahead of Melanie Poujan, visibly upset, a harsh end to a harsh race. The atmosphere was friendly as always at the finish line, witnessing riders exchanging their thoughts on their riding experience. Let's take a look then at the results of the women's race. Natalie Schneider winning ahead of Melanie Poujan in second place. The fight for the leader's jersey in the women's field was a close one, with the French Melody Poujan in the rainbow jersey taking the lead by one point only over Sophia Wiedenroth of Specialised, who's out for an injury. British rider Karen Pepper of Lapierre got another important third place in the West Bologna race one. So my bike is, um, is a machine. How much battery do you have left? 26%. Uh, so Were you in turbo the whole way? Uh, almost, yeah. There was only one tiny part in the climb where I did shift shift down because the turbo was too much, oh, like really? was too powerful, and then my back wheel slipped. <laughs> this is like the perfect amount of battery to have left in, yeah. at, at the finish line because when you get lower. 
the battery doesn't give you enough yeah, like voltage. Yeah. Yes. I so, and then yeah. that's not what you wanted. Them. Great to hear from Natalie Schneider. There's our podium, Natalie Schneider, Melanie Pujan and Karen Pepper. And a big celebration as always at the Wes Series. Let's take a look then at the results of the men's competition in race one. Jérôme Gio of Moustache takes the win and here he is. Well, it was a hard track, both uphill and downhill, so, so steep. Joris was really very strong today, a good fight between us. Tomorrow will be a hard day. Today it was warm and that made it even harder than ever. Stunning racing on day one. Let's take a look at our podium and the usual celebrations. Jerome Gio on the top step this time, ahead of Joris Reef and Francesco Cecchi. Camion. Let's spray the bubbles in celebration of our winners. Race two took place on Sunday. Riders were a little bit more prepared for the racetrack and more relaxed at the start. Weather conditions absolutely ideal again today. Racing was looking like it would be another solid, enjoyable day on the bike. Race two started even quicker, the whole field aiming for the hell at the whole shot. Race two got off to an even faster start than race one, with seemingly the whole field aiming for the whole shot. Again, Chechi Camion showed his skills and grabbed the whole shot with Melanie Pujan for the women. Joe managed to pull ahead on the first climb and settled into a commanding first position, which he maintained for the whole race. Joris Reef tried again, determined, but seemed further back for race two. Schneider managed her power reserves well and pushed hard up the climbs. After a close fight in the first two laps with Pujan, the standings leader was close behind and soon was going to pass her. Fontana was enjoying the track this time, keeping cool and enjoying the opportunity to race close to home. Josh Carlson was on the gas the whole time. At 80 kilos, he has a slightly harder time on the climbs. Zhou continued his dominant presence and pushed onwards towards the race victory. The pace through the trees, absolutely fantastic. Technically adept, these riders on these bikes. Third position, Italian Andreo Garibo only raced on the Sunday, but he was relaxed and kept up the pressure on second position reef. There was some more relaxed riding on the flatter sections as the riders tried to conserve their energy for the long climb. Gio came across the line in first again, extending his lead over second place Reef, who looked a little bit more tired than on race number one. In the women's race, world champion Pujan was finally happy to cross the line in first place, making up for that real disappointment in race one. Fontana finished in 13th place. Racing over the weekend in ideal conditions, that meant that most riders returned with around 10 to 20% of their battery remaining. Schneider was happy with her second place 
and congratulated Pujan for her deserved win. Let's take a look then at the results of the women's race. Melanie Pujan took the victory. Natalie Schneider this time in second place. Let's hear now from Melanie Pujan after race number two. Well, it was a really great race, a good fight with Natalie over the first two laps. We were both pushing really hard, very, very close. I'm really happy today about my race. I finally got the win. Here's the podium of the women's race with Pujan Schneider and Mariasha. Pujan wore the Women's World Cup leaders jersey on the podium, taking a stronger lead in the series. Let's take a look then at the women's standings. Melanie Pujan leads ahead of Karen Pepper of Team Pepper and Sophia Wiedenroth in third place. Melanie Pujan got her first Magneti Marelli Czech Star Power Lap Award, setting the fastest lap in the women's race, 9.32.49. Garibo managed a surprise third place on Sunday, but few seem able to challenge Gio so far. Let's take a look then at the men's results. Jerome Gio took the win ahead of Joris Reef and that surprise, Andre Garibo in third place. Aujourd'hui, c'était un autre parcours. Vraiment euh, différent, avec des montées plutôt raides, moins techniques. Donc, euh, tout à la puissance, on va dire. Et, euh, Today's track was very different from yesterday, steep climbing and less technical, so it was a matter of pushing hard. Physically, I was feeling better than yesterday. I'm in really good shape. Managed to attack Joris at the end of the first climb, the end of the start lap, and then I managed to widen the gap on the hill, finding my pace to complete the five laps. A very happy Jérôme Gio stands on the top step of the podium. Joris Reef in second, Andrea Garibo in third place. The final celebration of the weekend. Let's take a look then at the men's standings. Jérôme Gio leads ahead of Joris Reef with Chechi Camion in third place. Jérôme Gio awarded with his second Magneti Morelli Czech star power lap. He set the overall fastest lap in race two, 819.26. With a full score in four races over the first two rounds, Jerome Gio seems uncatchable, even at this point in the season. However, with four rounds to go, there's still time for changes in the standings. That's all for now. Wes round three will take place at the circuit of Chirard near clermont ferrand in France on the 17th and 18th of July. We look forward to seeing you there. Bye for now.